Clearly, proper exposure is a major part of taking good pictures, and by changing the aperture and shutter speed, either with the automatic or manual settings, you can change the depth of field or the motion blur or sharpness while still keeping the exposure you want. The second most important principle of taking great pictures is image sharpness. Image sharpness is affected by several things, including lens focus, depth of field, camera shake, and digital noise. First of all, you may want to have a bit of motion blur in your image for aesthetic effect. In this case, you would experiment with a slower shutter speed. You may also want parts of your image to be sharp and other parts to be out of focus. For this, you would experiment with depth of field changes as already discussed. This section will talk about how to keep your image sharp when you intend it to be sharp. Let's talk about lens focus. Sometimes the autofocus feature of your camera will have problems, particularly in situations where there is low contrast, highly reflective or bright objects in backgrounds, or overlapping objects at different distances. To ensure that the right part of your subject is in focus, you may want to switch the focus mode selector on the side of your camera to M for manual focusing mode, where you will have full control over focus by simply moving the focus ring left or right. Note, even in manual focus mode, you can press the shutter button halfway down and the focus indicator will glow to indicate that you are in focus. Another way to get a clear picture is to increase your depth of field, as we've already discussed, to cover the entire range of what you're trying to get in focus. That way, even if your lens focus is a bit off, you may still have a crystal clear image recorded by the sensor. Another cause of poor focus is camera shake, that is movement of the camera while the shutter is open, exposing the image sensor. Always steady the camera when you can. Holding the camera with two hands and pressing the viewfinder gently against your face will help. Lean against something if you can and where possible use a tripod, monopod or even a bean bag to rest your camera on. You can also reduce camera shake by selecting a fast shutter speed. This keeps the image sensor from being exposed to shaking conditions more briefly. One general rule of thumb that you may find helpful is the rule of one over the focal length. For example, if your lens focal length is 300 millimeters, set your shutter speed to at least 1 300th of a second. If your focal length or zoom is set to 30 millimeter, you may get by with a shutter speed as low as 1 30th of a second or so. Nikon's image stabilizer lenses do a remarkable job of taking out camera shake automatically. Digital grain or noise makes the image appear poor or out of focus. Don't enlarge an image too much, and if you know that you must enlarge an image, select a large file format as possible. Saving images in JPEG compression format creates some noise in the image. Also, repeatedly opening and resaving JPEG images can degrade the file quality. Save images in RAW format if possible. This is not compressed like JPEG. Too high of an ISO setting can create noise in your image. Underexposing your photos, too much black will come across as gray or noisy. Don't underexpose your photos. Another way to keep noise out of your image is to shoot high contrast subjects. Gradual gradations, like the sky's changing blue colors, cause grain-like patterns in the image.
Finally, to help keep noise out of your images, allow your camera to cool off before shooting more pictures. An overheated image sensor will add noise to your image.